is only silver and gold. Okay. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. This should be live. Naomi, he's just going to the shower. You'll probably have to knock in a couple of minutes to get you up. Oh, I'm just trying to get to the video. It's not blessing me. Does it strike when we just work on that surface? Yep. work on the back cover of my calendar as awful as it looks try and have a white background so it looks nice come on hey Sandra hey well, that's not Quentin, that's Naomi. Hey, Chrissy. Hey, Sandy. Hey, Joanne. Um, so this is what we did yesterday. Made a card. I stuck it together wet. It's a little warped. And we're making a page. And yes, I flipped that over. So I've just had a quick look to try and find my... Um, the picture of my page that I wanted to sort of scrap with tonight and yeah I didn't write down what week it was I think it's past class yeah no didn't write it down a bit silly Very silly. Okay, so hmm, it is a past class from years ago, like I'm talking years ago. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our bright and sunny somewhere, and I'm not putting the white out because we're using a white background, but I'm not using. I'm not going to put it out. So we're going to do like a bit of a sun ray thing, which we've done before. We might use it as a phone. Or we use this as a phone. Um, scissors. Okay. Oh, I should show you. I didn't think it was really hard. I think where people are think say are uh, getting stuck on this arch for a treat this weekend with the fussy cutting is they're worrying about you know keeping the leaves and all that well I just edited it as I went along edited it I just did a bit of editing and it is what it is um yeah and I have you don't have to cut the middle out or around the feds sorry but I did so I'm going to keep a rainbow. I'm actually going to cut out a rainbow because I thought about it afterwards. I could have put a little rainbow. And I'm just cutting it out with a bit of a border. You might have to go and knock. It's probably in there long enough. What are you typing? Um, comments. Starting to get going into retirement. I don't know if the lights are going into retirement or we're on power rationing. Had it for like two years now. No, it's the power supply to the lights. Oh. 
so when LED lights don't get a um, decent enough power supply, they actually um, slow down their pace, and that's why they strobe. It's all to do with power supply. Okay, let's put that aside. Rightio, so we're going to do a thing like that. And we've got some cord. Uh, we've got embroidery thread. And this is the real deal. This is actually um, DMC. Like, this is not cheap stuff. This is the good, this is the good, the good juice. Um, some velvet ribbon and sequins and all sorts of things. So let's get creating. So first things first, let's come up with what we're going to do for photographs. So let's say we do two photos. <coughs> Sorry. That are one's three and three quarter by five and three quarter, and one's three and three quarter by three and three quarter. I'm gonna write on them. And I would have photos for this in my stash, but I'm going to say um, this is quicker for me because this is going to be a bit time consuming. Right, yeah. So we're going to mail photos in. I think we use this. So from this piece of yellow, it's got raindrops on the other side. We're going to cut a four inch square. It's already four inches wide and a four inch by six inch piece. So it's already four inches wide. So we've got a four by six and a four by four. I'm going to cut the middle out of those. Now we're going to need these to be matted, these photos, to help make them still the star of the show. So we're going to do a bit of a freestyle-y type scrapbook layout, but we're going to still make sure. So the problem with freestyle was sometimes they used the tiniest little photo and it wasn't about the photo, it was about the stuff. So we're still going to make it about the photo. This is a great, this would be great for kindy photos or school photos or just bright kid photos. And let's go with the lines going up and down. Well, I am. You can do whatever you want. But I'm making sure both my lines go the same way. I might have to power through this a bit to get this all done because there's a there's a bit of fiddly stuff. I think we're going to do some fiddly stuff with this. Yeah, it's going to be fiddly. Okay, we'll definitely put foam behind those. So let's do that now. What's the matter? What are you looking at? I'm trying to send the comment with me. What are you trying to... What are you going to look into for me tomorrow? Lighting. What about it? It's not strobing. Yeah, I right. Can I say that I find that a little bit offensive? 
because I've already looked into it and I know exactly why the lighting's doing what it's doing. Yeah, but I'm going to look if we can update the power source. No, we've already done it. Oh, really? Yep, we've already done it. We've already tried it. So this is as good as it's going to get? Yep, and it's not strobing. I don't know what you whinged about. It's not strobing. It was strobing at the cell class. Yep, that's because we had all the white. It's the white. Okay. It's actually the white, Naomi. You talk like I know not, I know not what I'm talking about, don't you? I'm right. going to do a few things at once here. Right, yeah. So we're going to have these on our piece, right? So let's get... So let's get these five pieces here, right? Let's put these five pieces. So let's trim this piece with the rainbows on the back. So it's going to be like six and a quarter by two inches. And then this piece is already eight and a quarter by two. This check is going to be ten and a quarter by two. And this one is twelve, I think. Twelve by two. And then this hot pink, we're going to do a six inch by two inch piece. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to diagonally cut all these. Now I'm going to cut them all the same way. I'm going to cut them all from top right to bottom left. If you go some top right to bottom left, and some top left to bottom right, what you're going to do is you're going to have things going differently. I want them all to go sort of the same. So top right to bottom left. If you cut them all the same, you're going to have sort of the same angle the whole way around. You're going to have that same angle the whole way around. Whereas if you cut it the opposite way, you're going to end up with some different angles. Right, and it doesn't have to be perfect, because that's not. Top right. Bottom left. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That one's as best as I can get it. Top right, bottom left. This is a great thing to do with scraps and lots of leftover bits and pieces. So this is a really old class. I'm talking pre-2015. So this is probably 12 years old, this class, maybe more. Um, Pre 2012, when I moved across the street, when I moved the shop across the street in 2012. So it's pre 2012. Possibly like. Noel may have been a baby, probably like. Maybe 2006, maybe 2007, maybe if we're lucky. Something like that. And then we're going to have... So we've done a page like this before, but not like this, like this. Radio. So 
what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the lights off. So we've got light. Okay, so our lights are off. It prevents our strobing. So now we're going to work out where our photos are going to go. So we're going to have a feature photo here. And another photo. Let's take the foam from here. Let's sit it there. Let's put our two photos like this. Right? So what we're going to do is get a pencil. We're just going to mark just inside the boundary. So I'm doing these little corner marks like that, little corner marks, little L shapes just inside and then let's work out Right, so it's inside there. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our center point, our radiation point. We're going to do it sort of here where the photos cross. So we're going to do it from that. X marks the spot. So we know where our photos are. So this is sort of where our photos are going to go. Trust me. We're going to alleviate work. So this is called work alleviation. Having this here, trust me, you'll you'll understand in a bit. And this is our point where everything's going to radiate from. So I don't do a sunray page by going, oh yep, yep, yep. I'll just shovel these bits around and that'll be right. No, I actually get a radiation point, and everything radiates from that point out. So it all radiates out from that point, right? So what we're going to do is we've got this piece of velvety stuff. And we're going to go, okay, where are we going to put it? I think put it there like that. It's nice and simple. It's nice and easy. So it's going to go there. Interesting concept. You can't glue this on with glue like wet glue because it will soak into it you can't put the tape on the back of it and then stick it down because oh no I didn't see what you said I was blaming her uh, sorry about the inflow of instructions I finally got the keyboard to work so oh one of the keys doesn't work really well because your dad's a bangy typer. Yeah, it's oh, no. to send the messages. Oh, was it Trish that complained about the lights or said um, something about the lights? Yeah, it was. Well, I just didn't know that we had already sorted out the strobing issue. Don't you watch the classes? Yes, Mum. Right, she doesn't watch classes. What? It's okay, Trish. It's not you. It's it was just Naomi assuming I'd done nothing about it. It wasn't you, Trish. It was Naomi making assumptions. My beautiful daughter. Um, so you can't put tape on the back of this because when you're trying to peel the back off the tape, it will either not peel off really well or what will happen is you'll pull the little velvet bits out. So these little tufty bits here, they are just go in and loop around. They're not tied on there. So if you put tape down here and stick it down and go, oh, I want to move it and peel it up, your velvety bits will be stuck to the background. And you know how I know that, don't you? Because I made the mistake. So we're thinking we're going to come across here with our velvet. Let's go there. So let's rule a line. Zoop. And I'm going to get some tape. I'm going to use red tape. It's a bit stronger. My pages get a bit manhandling. And you're going to just put your page back in it, into your album when you're done. It's probably not a big drama. But mine get a little manhandling at work. Just, just, just. So I'm going to cut this because it's, it's about the same width as my ribbon. So I'm going to cut it down. Um, yeah, the lighting became an issue basically overnight um 
yeah and it's a similar issue to what we had back at the beginning with a different light which is still parked over here i've still got a daylight lamp just there i've got a really good daylight lamp that i can't use for filming videos because i just can't get enough power to it to get a decent um supply from it so i've got a little bit of red tape back in here stuck to it um sandra's just wanting to know um how far down in have you put the photos like when you've got like the two photos overlapping so this one's about an inch and a half in here oh no that's not with a photo let's let's look at it this way so we've got about an inch here on the right two and a quarter at the top two and three quarters over on the left here and about two and a half up from the bottom does that make sense Naomi? Mm -hmm. I think she also meant like the overlap. Oh, it's uh, it's less than an inch. It's yeah, it's not it's not far. Okay. I haven't read any comments. Hello to everybody. I'm sorry I haven't said hello. Just kind of needed to get the um class started. And Quentin's gone. Quentin's gone foraging for food. So I'm not going to cover my x marks the spot because i still need to see it so i'm going to lay this down and i'm just going to be it doesn't have to be perfect i've deviated from the line too far there but yes he has gone to forage for food because it's getting really hard to get yep i've done it i've got some hairs there it's getting really hard to get food here um you can go shopping some days. You can actually walk into our grocery stores and there not be a single vegetable. Which, and I know it happens everywhere, other places as well. Um, Leslie's travelling tomorrow. For the yeah, they're travelling tomorrow, Leslie and Carol. I think Leela and um, Jean are travelling tomorrow as well. I'm pretty sure they are. Uh, I know Tracy and... Debbie, you're travelling tomorrow. Okay. So we've got big stretches. Actually, we want big bits. But, see, we don't have to have them right to here because at the end of the day, we're going to put our photo here. So we don't need to come right through here. So let's sort of... But we need we do need the point on it like we do need the to have the point you can either have just the point come to it let's do that let's do the point to there but let's put tape on the back of this so from there there i try to um not necessarily do the corners first, but I try to get enough. So there. Try to get the adhesive to go over the edge. Not directly into the corners, but at least sort of a bit of a guide. So then let's then snip this bit here. Because I can make a card with that. Zoop. I'm going to leave the overhangs for the moment, okay? I'm sorry we're working without lights, but we're working without lights specifically because, and you could use glue for this, but I'm not going to. You could, you, um, you could, um, we, ju we just don't want it to strobe. That's why we're not using lights. Now you've got to make sure, like it's no good me putting this here like this because that doesn't cover to the edge. Where's that? It does. 
I'm just trying to get a bit of colour on here and a bit of an idea where I'm going to go. And you can see that these are being on the same angle, they're sort of going to flow a bit. Okay, let's do one of the other trickier things. Sorry, I'm just I'm just gonna what do you know? And then we need to we do need to just snip this bit back. Just gotta keep our X marks a spot exposed. So let's do one coming out here from our center point. Let's come out to here. And let's mark every, put our edge on a quarter inch mark and let's put a little dot every quarter of an inch. So every quarter of an inch we're going to put a little dot. So these little dots are going to be where we stick sequins. Yep. We are going to stick a line of sequins and they're probably going to be the colour scheme of Mad Woman's Breakfast. We are just going to go wild with our sequins, just sticking our colours on. We might be selective, but we will most likely be doing the Mad Woman's Breakfast theory. So, show you, that's every quarter of an inch. So then when we stick sequins on there later, and we're not going to stick the sequins on now, okay, because what will happen is that they will. So these can only be these little regular size sequins. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick them so that the little... I'm going to stick it down and then just move it to the side slightly so you don't see the little dot. Obviously, I can't use the transparent sequins or you're going to see my little dot. That's a bit of a stinker. So there you go. So that we lined up. What do we do every second dot? Saying no, and um, Santa's just wondering at what point did you put the X? Um, when I sat the photos down there, the X is in the middle of where the photos join. So we could put every second dot. Actually, we're going to do that. So if you haven't marked it out yet, do half inch dots. Let me just come back. Can you just put a correction up, Naomi John? So we're going to go every half an inch. The house is very quiet. Mm. Scary quiet. I'm just going to sharpen my eraser. That sounds really silly. I know that sounds silly. Yeah, so when I put the um, photos down, sat the photos down, and after I marked just inside the photos to work out where to go with my photos, that's when I put my X marks the spot down. Um, half inch spacing? Half inch spacing. We're going to change it to half inch spacing. I'm just trying to get it so that it's easier. You know what? I'm going to move this. I'm just going to move it to here. I'm going to cover that. I'm just going to move it so we do half inch spacing. And you know what? You can do this. So we're just going to do half inch spacing for our sequence. 
We're going to do three lots of sequins. Right. And then we're going to get, nope. We're going to cover that with that. Look at that. Beautiful. I'm really hoping that once we get some colour on this white piece, we can turn the lights back on. Because I don't like working in the darkness. Let's try one light. We're not strobing it. So go right to the point. And then let's cut this point bit off here. Because we don't want to cover our X marks the spot. We want to be able to see it. Let's get rid of those. And let's make another. So let's cut part of this velvet off. Just leave a little bit hanging over. We're going to put a little bit of velvet over here. We only need a short piece. So we're just going to sit that there. Let's do a, from X marks the spot, let's do some sequins over here. So we're going to mark every half inch. Now sometimes I'll be doing this and I'll get really excited about something. And then what I'll do is I'll not take X marks the spot into account. I'll go, oh, yeah, I'm going to do that there. And it gets a bit silly. And then let's do, and it's looking odd right now. Let's do another one just here. So find our X point and then mark each half inch. We're keeping you awake. I've been up since four. She has been up since four and she has sat on a tarmac for a considerable amount of time today. Yeah, the bloke they waited for didn't even show up in the end. Let's stick this here. And then, so the good thing about having your um, X marks a spot behind a photo means that you can cut the ends off all these bits. It does make it look a bit odd. So that's going to go there and that's going to go there. This one, this one and this one will be sequins. And then what we'll do is we'll put over here a bit of blue velvet so it's not just on its own it doesn't look like an afterthought and then let's get our title we could do that that's pretty we've got a couple of buttons So the original class actually had um, buttons, rows of buttons. So everyone's got three different flowers and three different buttons. I've got two yellow and one red button. You've all got like at least one red and one yellow button. Okay, I've got another little domey thing here. I might come up with something with those. So they're those other little embellies for there. Okay, and we're going to fill this. I think we might fill our bright and sunny with yellow, this yellow bit, from inside this photo mat. So inside this photo mat is what we've got there. Okay, let's put this piece of velvet on next. So it's only this bit. 
so let's do our line out from there and let's get some tape remembering that you can't glue ribbons or well, you shouldn't glue ribbons because they don't glue well and oh you can use 450 but oh, it's a little hit miss sometimes but you also need to remember that you can't just put your um put tape on the velvet ribbon because it it's not going to want to peel off and if it does you could pull the little hairs out because they're not actually attached those little threads or hairs aren't actually attached to anything they're just sitting there just get off my fingers and we're going to leave a little tail because I think we're going to wrap wrap it because I like to wrap ribbon around the edge oh that's not a very big wrap but that's all it's got because I if I pulled it back up it'd be hairless because I would have pulled all the little hairs out of it yep 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 okay this equals stitching I think but I'm going to say something so stitching I leave it to last, right? I set it up, I get it prepared, but I leave it to last because that's the thing I'm probably going to do tomorrow watching telly. So I might not get all my stitching done tonight, but I'm at least going to get it started. I'm going to get it prepared. I'm going to be organised. And then what I'll do is I'll come along later and I'll finish that. So let's have a look at how we want to stitch. Can you let her in, please? Do we want big, long stitches? Let's do a practice. So I've got a piece of white cardstock here. This is left from yesterday. So let's... Is that Missy or Maddie? Maddie. No, Maddie doesn't want you to play. Missy does. Both cats are in. Right, so that's quarter inch marks, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this little piece out, right? And then I'm going to turn the lights back on, both of them, so that you can see what I'm doing a bit easier. Okay, so needle holder. I'm going to poke him at me somewhere. Nope, I'm just saying block. Radio. I got a sanding block. Foam works well as well. I got a pokey tool. I did make this. I am a sewer. I will admit, my name is Elisa and I am a sewer and my older children did not wear bought clothes when someone else bought them. So don't go all the way in, just poke, try and poke nice little even holes. So I'm not moving where I'm holding it. I'm using my finger as a bit of a guide so I stop in the same place each time. So I poked a little hole, quarter inch apart. Ooh, I don't know if that's going to focus. Rightio. So I've got a needle. It's a number 12 straw, I think, by the look of it, which means nothing. So I've got a needle. Oh, I can't remember what I was stitching with it last. This is um, Millennium Fabric because I had a Millennium Baby. Did you realise that, Naomi? Mm -hmm. This is Millennium Fabric. I did not realise that. Yeah, it's the year 2000. It says year 2000 and Millennium spelt lots of ways so my needle goes through my hole that's really important then I'm going to get my thread I'm going to get a piece about mm, from my shoulder to the end of my fingers right from my shoulder from this shoulder to my fingers 
that's plenty to work with. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just strip it down into three. So this is DMC and you've got six strands. So I've got three and three. And by holding it like this, and then I've got the tail there. Let's pull that down. By doing this, I can get it apart. Better not. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take them apart. So it does mean it lays down better. If you So it is not a shortcut to get a longer piece of thread. Yep. I used to teach embroidery lessons as well. Uh, I used to be a smocking teacher, actually. Um, so it is not, and beating, um, it is not better to um, have a longer piece of thread. You just need a piece of thread that you're not going to break your arm going beyond that. Okay. So then I get the bits together. And I don't lick it because that's gross. My mother-in-law licks the thread. My mother does too. Nana. Yep. And grandma. Yep, they're thread lickers. So if you cut it tightly and if you cut it with a sharp pair of scissors and then hold it, squish it between your fingers, so I'll do it again, and squish the end between your fingers, you can actually get it all through the eye of the needle and i'm blind my name's lisa and i'm blind just about we all saw that from how crooked my card was yesterday so now i'm going to get a bit of tape so we don't start with a knot when we are stitching on paper you start with a piece of tape nearby that'll do and then we come up and we're just going to do, we're going to have a look what this looks like as a running stitch. And, you know, I probably could have done six strands. What I might do is I will pull this right down here and I'm going to test six strands. So that's just doubled over. I think it's nicer to have it doubled over better to have a shorter piece because the paper actually wears the thread out the paper does wear the thread out quicker than what fabric does and it'll get crappy quicker okay i think that's good enough i think we'll double it over and we'll run it at quarter inch intervals that looks good to me so that's our sample waste not want not what do you know that's ready to go we'll light off this light will turn off right so we could have kept that quarter inch intervals over there but yeah Righty -o. So where are we going to do a quarter inch interval? Let's come to here and see, I nearly went like that. So let's do a little line of stitching here. So I'm going to start a quarter of an inch in from the edge. An eighth of an inch, sorry. And put my first hole. And I'm going to go a quarter of an inch apart, making sure that I've definitely... Just little tiny dots. And do an extra one in. Let's do an extra two in just in case we've got ended up a dodgy bit. Um, let's come here. Let's go an eighth in, in from the edge. Let's do quarter of an inch intervals. Has anyone asked any questions, Naomi John? She's over there packaging her bows. She's made gold and silver bows to restock the store. Oh, I don't know if they're the colours I've already got. I have already got a tub of new colours here. And springtime tea party flare buttons that never got photographed in the first place. 
They don't even exist in the system. I have about 60 packets here to make. Um, Karen's saying hello. Marie's saying that she makes her at quarter inch marks, the stitching. Yeah. Because it's just easier for the measurements to work out. Can relate. Yeah. Um, me doing a whole bunch of instructions. Mm -hmm. The just all in all. And, and it looks crappy. I know it looks dodgy right now because it's not looking like much of anything. Let's do a third one here. The best nope. artworks go through an ugly stage. Yeah. But what we don't want is we don't want to have it that they're on even thirds. We're not doing an evens, you know, we're not doing even Stevens. But we're going to start an eighth of an inch from the outside edge and we're going to start with a full stitch on the outside so sorry I'm just trying to focus here sorry I stopped talking because I was I couldn't see the dots that I was I couldn't see where I was looking at on the ruler I really think I might need my eyes aren't sore but they're not working <laughs> I'll show you inside my thing. Don't worry, she doesn't drive. Naomi, I do drive, but this, this close-up stuff's not working. So these are my needles. There's a big dodgy collection in here. Um, this is my teaching my children to sew needle. But Quentin's mum wanted to teach Amelia to sew, so I'll let her do it this time. Oh, there it is over there. Thought I'd lost my needle. So let's. Mark, let's you realise Millie and Nana have been sewing that blue bag for two, two years. years? I know, I know, I know. And I know. it's supposed to be like. You know, Nana was the same as me. Nana didn't. Um, buy dad clothes. Yep, she made all of Dad and Auntie Michelle's clothes. She must have had a lot of orange fabric because Dad just seemed to wear a lot of orange as a kid. Yep, well, that was the 70s. We wore orange in the 70s, thank you. Orange is not the colour of the day it's today. It's coming back. It's coming back. You wore a lot of orange and navy blue. You liked orange. You were a weird... and psychology assessment going on after Oh, good. Are they ready? Yeah. Both? Yeah. Uh, HP. Well, it's... Mm. You're not going to get to read anything. Yeah, she is. Why do you say that? Leave the typewriter alone and go and do your homework. You know, that's probably the first time I've said that to him. Why don't you go and watch something on telly? Go and sit and have some time on your own. When no one else tells you what you have to watch. Um, what is it that Amelia wants you to watch with her? Naomi's Barbie it's Spy it's Squad. Like it's one of the worst Barbie movies ever created. Barbie Spy Squad. I watched it. Can I just say I'm glad that I missed out on having to watch Barbie Spy Squad. I, I take a lot of pride in watching every Barbie movie, but that is one that I could have gone without. Radio, let's do this little tiny one here. So we'll get our bit of tape. What do you mean? It works now. Oh, how long for? Batteries ran out yesterday on his keyboard. It's the keyboard we got when Melton turned four. It's Melton's fourth birthday present. It was a keyboard. It's a, it's a Yamaha. Oh, it's a Casio. It's a good one. And, um, yeah. So you will see that I get a bit pedantic about the thread laying down nicely. Yeah. Millie had some homemade clothes because they were Naomi's. That 
truly says. But hey, some so. of them, yeah, some of them I um, had lent some out, which never again, and they didn't come back. What do you know? So it's a really good idea when you do this to actually burnish it so your tape doesn't so it doesn't slip out of your tape. Someone doesn't pull on the end of it and it comes out. Trust me. Rightio. Which way's up? That way's up. Okay, let's stick. Um oh, says that she often so close for her boys. And um Sandra See a thing you were time. doing. I don't know where you put the dots yeah, for the sequins or the sign. Exactly where the dots are. They are from a corner or something because I have no idea. Oh, you just guesstimate. I just guesstimated, Sandra. I'm so sorry. I just um a bit willy nilly. Um, you can't it hard with the white. And if I do this. No. Um, so this one's stitching here. Oh, the white is very bright. Let's turn the other one off. Let's see if that helps. Okay, you, you can't see anything because it's so white. This cardstock is so white. This is Grange cardstock. It's super white. So this is stitching here, velvet ribbon, and then we've got a pink leopard. So this one here is sequence. This one just here. So it's from this point here is sequence. Like even if you make a little little mark on the edge or something. So this one sequence here is stitching from this point here. Can you see my finger? Oh, my finger's off you. This one's stitching. Um, this one here is sequence. Okay, we can't see that one. Which one? No, no, I'm about to move it. I'm about to move it. There you go. This one's sequence. This one here is stitching. And about an inch away or inch and a quarter away is sequence. This one sequence here. I'm just going to sit that there. I'm going to put glue on the back of this and stick this in here. Gosh, I've got glue there. He's right to play the piano while we do class. What's the matter? Oh, the piano just died again. Well, time to play on the other one. He says it's too small. He just needs to play on it. He's got to practice. He can't not practice. Okay. Go and play on the other one. Nice and low. Oh, it doesn't matter. He never plays loud here. Have you? Has he played his comp last composition for you, Naomi? I was the one who did the draft for it. What do you mean? I listened to it in the draft and fixed up the sharps missing. Really? Yes. But it was his composition. Yes, it was just missing a few sharps. Because it's hard when you jump between minors and majors. It's very good. Yeah. Calvin is putting him forward for a um, young composer's competition because he thinks of things to start with, like he comes up with a concept for a musical piece that he writes. Oh, there's another little bit there. I just noticed a couple of fluffies online. Now, I know sometimes there might be fluffy bits on your titles and your colour cuts and that. You gotta remember it's just the two of us. Oh, unless Naomi's home. 
she's home there's more than two of us but it's mostly just Quentin and I I wasn't allowed to get coffee and sometimes at oh we try not to and sometimes we do all the peeling and the packaging at night at home after the kids have gone to bed definitely been some late night last night I was packaging flares Quentin was making them and I was packaging so let's have a look so periodically put your bits back together okay let's bring some more color into this I like it there, but is it going to be covered? Is it going to be covered? Oh, yeah, that's not bad. Let's put some pieces on. I think we're going to need more of this colour. It's still a bit there. Obviously, I've got to get my ruler out and make sure they're right, that they're in the correct spot. So I think there we make it fatter I think we do or maybe not we'll make it thinner and I really love this see I used it yesterday didn't I this is only short and I've got a smush on my page there what do we go here nope I think we go here and we put a bit of orange here right and then this is going to go here and then could we do over here could we do a line of buttons here And out here, we could do our two little flowers, maybe not, three little flowers. And do we do our three flowers here? Like that. They look like beady eyes, don't they? We put that there and put this heart on it. Where are we going to put these? One. Sorry, that's Quentin Lock in the car. Like that. They still look a little beady eyeish. You wait till you see the. I don't know if you saw the um the cupcakes we made. We made monster cupcakes for the weekend. And then we've got these blings. So a bit more pink. I think a bit of pink over here. What do we think? A bit of pink there. Bring the pink across. What do we think of that? Okay, let's set that up. Let's hold onto those ones and take this out. Ooh, 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 ooh. There. And there. Remembering we've got sequins in here. Pull that out. And that out, rightio. We're almost there. So let's put some tape on the back of this orange piece. Rightio. Let's put it there like that and we're going to cross over our oh no 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 we don't want to do that we don't want to um have it right in the corner again because that'll look a little contrived won't it and let's just pull this back a bit sorry about him he's obnoxious he doesn't even necessarily always need to drive past our place either he just likes to do a whiz around the suburb before he goes to his home. So let's line that up with the point there and come up here. 
And then we're going to do this one. So we're always lining up with our X marks the spot, if that makes sense. Are you watching the comments, Naomi John? I am. Marie says that uh, looking beautiful, Diane says she's loving the layout. Susan Polly from New Zealand. From New Zealand. Kelly oh. says hello. Hello, Sue. Hello. Hope your trip's going great. Hope you're having a wonderful time in NZ. I'll take it you're visiting family. Okay, so this little guy, we've got an issue. He doesn't quite go in to the point. And I don't always like guesstimating. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rule a line from my X marks the spot out. And then we're going to run our little piece along it. Do you want me to take it? Like that. I am like losing the one you know. Oh, these ones go. Do you have people on chickens? No. Okay. I'm cooking them actually. Um, so if you want, you can continue to pack your clothes. I'm going to write a menu. Okay. Fair enough. I'll continue this after. Um, I do. That coffee table's not too bad. I need to go and ring the old man. She's going down real far. Rightio. So let's put that there. Lined up. Let's just pull it back a bit because I don't want to hide that X marks the spot. And then let's come out here and make some decisions about our flowers. So we're going to put our flowers out here. Put our X marks the spot. And let's put them. I'm thinking like an inch apart so i'm going to come out from here and this is going to end up being like about two and a quarter two and a half down from the top so let's go there there and there Radio. so you can't stick these on with dimensional magic you need to use something like 450 like a globby clear glue like a gel light -like glue. Let's test the lining situation again. Let's do some testing. Testing, Why testing. Before? What's that? Why the lights Have you seen how Grange reacts to lighting rigs? No. We're using Grange. Oh, bright white. It is beyond bright white. So we're going to cut the tails off, but we're not going to cut the tails all the way in because there's really not a lot holding that in there. So you want just a little bit of a tail to hide behind a petal. Because we're going to glue it behind the petal. But we need to use, so actually, you know what, I might, I might see if I've got a glue dot. I might dig out some glue dots. Actually, can I steal some of those glue dots, please? Yeah. Seeing as how I, they're my glue dots. Okay, so I'm going to use glue dots and I'm going to say that glue dots are great because I can ensure that I'm hiding my little tail. And sorry about the beeping noise. That's one of the obnoxious train drivers that likes to. Sorry if your spouse or child is a train driver here. They, uh, someone left a horn on on the train the other day. Mm, over an hour. Water gets down on top of the junction box and the country horn gets locked on. Like there you go, the country horn got locked on. I don't care what the excuse is. It was annoying and it was late at night. It's a pity I know that and I know nothing. I meant to know nothing about low tax. Here you go, Quinn. Oh, yeah. So these two. Interesting concept. You can't put a little mark behind them. They're 10 mil or 14 lines. I don't know. But I can't put a mark behind them because you'll see it. Mm. Stick a piece of paper in the back. Use them like a cabbage. Well, no. I'm going to... You're going to glue them on? I'm going to put a glue, a dot of glue. Dot. So these two little ones are going to be like about oh, five inches up from the base. And I'm going to put them half an inch apart. And I'm going to put a little dot of dimensional magic to mark their spots right then i'm going to put some dimensional magic on the back 
not too much i'm just gonna put enough but you do need a complete coverage on the back and i'm going to try and plop them down in the center of their spots they do like to slide around a bit this might not be perfect as far as the mathematical symmetry of the layout goes symmetry is a big word right how is it at the grocery store well, how was the foraging today? I can tell you how Scotland's passed their fire uh, water things. How? Yeah. Because they do their drills when there's not many people in this shop. <laughs> in other words, I got caught in a fire drill. Oh dear. I'm going to do an inch apart, an inch apart with these. And these are just a quarter of an inch in from the edge. Oh, Jean says hello. Jean. Jean at Woolworths. Oh, Jason's Jean. Jason's Jean, mother of Dale and Sarah. So, my friend Jason from high school married um, Jean, who Quentin went to high school with. Were you guys friends at school or just yeah. went to school together? Same year or year below? I can't remember. I think it was same year. No, no, you are because you are the year. You're both the year younger than us. And Jason and I. Yes. So my, my friend Jason from school um, married one of quite a friends from school. Jean. I'm not lining the things up. Now I've got a little bit of glue, glue smosh and it's going to dry glossy. So I'm just going to scrape it away. So it's okay in places if I've got smaller white gaps and in places i've got bigger white gaps because what that means is it's more interesting more interesting oh dear could you use little buttons too <gasps> little buttons you could use blings you could use you could use anything for this this is like scrap hoarders heaven <laughs> Quentin doesn't even know what's going on this layout yet. No, just kind of look at here. So where were we with our title? Our title's going to go here. So yeah. So a bling's going to go here, and we're going to be haphazard between the three sizes. And we're going to put our bling like, let's go half an inch apart, like our sequence. But what we're going to do is we're going to mark it out, but we're not going to stick it on until we get our title on. Because we're not going to need the whole way in, but I think we're going to need a little one hidden in here, sort of we're probably going to have to have one peeking out in the middle in here right so they're half an inch apart and they're for bling rightio rightio let's just quickly Let's let's trim this off. So let's trim off the pieces of paper, not the ribbon. I'm sorry if this is strobing. No, that's right. So I flipped it over and I'm just following along the edge neatly. You could chuck this in your locker chopper. So Quentin goes today. Strange man's just coming. Oh, not so strange, strange man. No, I didn't say strange man. He goes. Oh, I've got someone's husband out in the store and he wants a large scoreboard and a large lopper chopper. I'm like, and I looked out and I goes, oh, that's, that's Karen's, Karen's man, Darren. Said Dazza. It's Dazza. Yep. I think just lately Darren's been in the store more than Karen has. I think so. Um, he does enjoy coming um, scrapbook shopping. 
he looked rather proud of himself when he walked out with his um, lopper chopper. Yep, yep, yep. He's scoring serious brownie points with his lopper chopper today. I think every time he's got days off, he's in the shop doing shopping. Sorry, it's strobing. It's the white. This green is so bright. Oh, yeah. But, yes. So, Darren did really well today with his shopping. Well, hopefully Karen's meant to know. Yeah, yeah. She's not up to this class yet. Oh, maybe she is. Actually, she's got this kit, I think. Are you there, Karen? I don't know. She doesn't watch them live always. Um, Karen used to be a um, Wednesday night, one of my Wednesday night students, Karen is. We used to spend our Wednesday evenings together. Oh, geez, I shouldn't have done that. I've just moved one of my little doodars. And I've got smush come out from behind it. This Wednesday night at the shop, we used to get stuck down. Mm. Well, sometimes I just lay down on the floor. Sometimes Quentin would just lay down on the floor and do his back therapy exercises. So these are now cooked. That'll be right. We're going to survive. Okay, so let's trim this out. So cutting on an angle behind, and I'm gonna I'm gonna move this over so you guys can see. Hopefully, you're gonna have a bit of a look see at the page if you're catching up. If you're creating along with me, oh sorry. Um, there's a so at the end it's gonna look like a really simple slap together page maybe I don't know. See you tomorrow, um, Leslie. Oh, yes, but probably only a scrapbooker is going to know that it's a time-consuming proposition. I'm not putting the centres in my words because we, we're wanting a bit of a freestyle, I just, you know, flung some stuff on the page type look. What's this? Uh, star page or something? Star page? Starburst. Starburst. Or sunburst. It's like a sunburst. Which I usually put Nara on sunburst pages. I'm thinking this is like a 2005 or 2006 class. I was going to say, Nara wasn't a teenager. No, I. I'm featured in this class. No, I, I actually think I've done it with toddler photos of Nanny John. I couldn't find it on my hard drive. Blue and red Spider-Man shirt. So it would only have been like five or six. No, that's I've done a different one. Ah. We have done just a couple of pages. Here. Yeah. But the original class is really old. It must be something about their desk tonight. The name of John was <laughs> over there, you wanted to have uh, a Karen Linger put up. I'm here, but not a local, and hubby isn't Dazza. <laughs> yeah, nah. nah. Don't you wish you had Dazza and he bought you no, I bet you're... a scoreboard and a lopper chopper today? He did say he likes the sound of it on the movie stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the lopper chopper? Yeah. He does like my lopper chopper. So, um, Karen's Darren is the Darren in the group. Um, that's because if we can't get Karen on the video on her device, we get Karen on the video on Darren's device. <laughs> oh, I love, love, love. Let's put this on phone. Because I know I want that to go on phone. Oh, let's use up this foam over here. I'm just going to put a chunk of this foam up here on me phone. Go away, bug. Oh, now I've got the lights on again. The bugs are back. Bugs. Bugs. So, this weekend is product choice. Um, yep. What's the needle on here? 
we need to have like hyped music or hyped song that we <sighs> play for like. Yeah, that's before. copyrighted. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. It's another train. And it's not the horn stuck on. What did he do wrong, we asked. I think Baz is just a nice bloke, Lee. I, I just think um, he decided that she needed it to to make life easier. I can answer that question for you, Sandra. Um, so there's no fussy cutting for the Friday and Saturday night classes. No, no, it's the, the fussy. So because you're doing the full retreat and the bonus... Your I only fussy cut one lot of stuff. So what you've got for the whole weekend, I am gonna get Friday and Saturday night from that. There is okay, so in your pack there is extra stuff. There is going to be extra stuff in your pack for you to use if you want to have those fussy cuts for something else. But I am only working from four sheets of fussy cut. So the whole weekend I'm only working from, on, and Naomi, John and I are working from one kit. So the whole weekend we are working from four sheets of fussy cutting and... Um, yeah, so we're not, yeah, we're getting eight classes out of all of that. Sorry, I'm flipping this backwards and forwards and it probably strobes when I go to the back. I should sew these buttons on. Do you know I have a tub somewhere with some pages in it that need the buttons stitched. I am that person that likes to stitch the buttons on pages. Uh, I have got to the point where I don't have to stitch the buttons on pages. I, I did, I, I did manage to achieve that. It was a big, big thing for me. Okay, last one. It's a just in case security one, just in case. And then I'm going to get another piece of thread. I am going to do the stitching. I said I wouldn't get it all done, but I'm going to try and do all the stitching. And then I've got to stick on sequence, sequences. But we're going to stick things together before we get them sequins on because if we don't need to stick it on, it is not getting stuck down. Pinch that down. Yeah, Karen said um, that if she lived like a, her, Andrew would buy stuff or be my pack horse. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I wish you all lived near us so we could hang out together and you could drink coffee or tea and I could drink water together because <laughs> I don't drink coffee anymore and I've never drunk tea. Yeah. But, yes, I wish we could all hang out together all the time. And we weren't just on videos doing classes. We were just hanging out together doing classes. Just don't have... Because we do the online classes, a lot of people that do the classes, people that don't necessarily come to classes want classes, but the people that do come to classes like that there's plenty of classes to choose from online. So this is the last one. So I might be a bit close to the edge. Oh, we so Deborah used to sell all of their kids' clothes. Yep. So you even did all the pre-baby things, the bassinet and cloaks. Yep. We did that. We made sheets. Like, we didn't even buy bassinet sheets or cot sheets. I made bassinet sheets. Had to because you couldn't. Um, yeah, Karen will do the water with you, dude. Yeah. I had to get. So our bassinet is a really old antique cane one that one of my cousins gave me. It had belonged to her ex-husband's family. Um, I don't think he knows I've got it, but it's mine now. Um, she gave it to me and before I had Melton and I do get a new mattress for it for each baby, but I have to get the mattress custom made from a baby mattress manufacturer. 
big in Australia, in Brisbane, because um, the baby shop, Kirsten McVean, or I don't know what her Murray name is. She used to be Kirsten McVean. Um, she um, she had the baby shop and she got it, she organised it for me. I didn't have to go to Brisbane and organise it myself. There you go. Diane B sewed everything too. Yep. Love sewing. Used to be smocking. Smocking, yeah. We we talked about, you know, threading and. Now there's a skill. Trying to <laughs> get a smocking machine. What are the pleaters? The pleater. The pleater. Yep. Yeah. My pleater is still stored so that it can be pulled out and used. It is stored very correctly. I have two pleaters. Oh, actually, no, I gave one away because you don't need two pleaters, but I've got spare needles. Yeah, Karen, I sewed cop seats because they needed to be frogs. Okay. No, no. We did gingham. We did gingham and neutral stuff and... Oh, had to be neutral. Quentin is just such a nut about it. it's got to be neutral, even though we know what we're having every time. And Naomi John couldn't have a frou frou, um, so she was she was christened five weeks after she was born, or less than five weeks after she was born, because um, Father Green, who has unfortunately passed now was retiring so um i wanted to make you know this fancy christening gown that had to be simple just in case they got it wrong and she turned out to be a boy the doctor never gets it wrong that we go to um the ultrasonographer we use in brisbane never gets it wrong they never get it wrong. Naomi was the first 3D scanner machine in the Southern Hemisphere when she was scanned at. She was not the first 3D scan, but the first 3D scanner was what they used for her. <laughs> there you go. I didn't know that, Heather. What's that? The closest I have come to hanging with the Red Shores was I followed the uh, bus, can't remember, the colour down the Hume Freeway. Yeah, the hot pink truck. The hot pink truck to pay yep. terrific. My husband wondered why I was so excited to see this funny coloured vehicle. Yep, the hot pink truck. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Not, not a hot pink truck anymore. She's, she's gone. She's gone. A beautiful girl. So, this is going to go here. So, we're going to need two bling there. They're going to be easy to stick on here. Let's put a medium bling. I think Deborah needs us to drop some subtle hints uh, in her social media feeds about the gift vouchers. Oh, okay. To her family. Yeah. Deborah, do you need my teenager to tell your teenager? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're talking about husbands here. <laughs> That they, he couldn't fathom the idea of a gift voucher. Oh, well, one of their customers, Cheryl in Victoria, her son is currently in Glad's, working in Gladstone and um, he um, he gets a gift vouchers from me for mum all the time. We did finally get to meet Cheryl. Yeah, Cheryl was up. She was recently up and visited. Yep. And if he can't, if his shifts don't work with the store hours, he just rings me up and we just organise it over the phone. Okay. So let's put our pink bling here because they're coming out from here. Let's go a medium one. Put a big one here. Well, I finally got around to checking that Saturday night lotto ticket. Yeah. We are not winners. No, we are not. There's no chicken dinner for the Red Shores. We are not winners. No, we are not winning a chicken dinner here, no. I'll have to tell them that they need to redraw that. Oh, yeah. 
Okay, let's get tweezers. Ooh. It would be perfect for the sun. Chocolate wears a bit thin after a while. Right, eh, Deborah? We'll see what we can do. Right. I don't know how I get into the Instagram or Facebook feeds of a teenage boy, but I'll do my best. Okay, I'm going to put a bit of a glue dot on here. There you go. So Desley's three boys were all christened in a gown. Yeah. Milton Mora, Shepherd's suit. Milton Mora, Shepherd's suit. The other two were Noah and Amelia were christened in Naomi John's. Yeah. Noah was um, like three months old, but he was still nearly as small as what Naomi John was. Noah was still really tiny because he took a long, he didn't thrive. He was the weenie from St. Ringy. Yeah, Noah did not thrive, our little man. Um, I guess I've got to keep sticking bows on things. Though. He could not process what he was being fed. Poor little darlings. Oh, yeah. You wouldn't think it, man. Mm. Let's go. Well, maybe she was six weeks after because she was the one. Of, so Naomi John was the 10th of the 12th and he Noah was the 12th of the 10th. So they're obviously twinsies. Okay, so I've used a glue dot to stick my little heart and it's, a, and it's crooked. It's okay. I've used a pop-up glue dot to stick my heart to my flare button. There you go. And let's get some sequins out. Sequences. What? Do the bows. There's only silver and only gold. You didn't tell me two different sizes. Yeah, there's two different sizes. We always do two different sizes of bows. Yep, yeah, work that out in a hurry. You sell the bows in the store. I know, but I didn't realise there was two different sizes in the pile. No, no, we always, when we do a colour run, we do two sizes in the colour run. So, I'm going to, so I'm going to try not to have the centre of the, so the dot showing in the hole. But I'm going to put it over it. The rain said it's looking lovely. So these are the bright and sunny um, sequins, bead and sequin mix. And they're in the online store now. Um, they're not on the front page of the online store anymore because I've added that much new stuff in the last couple oh, of days. Box yeah, we've got a box of stuff. Oh, we're slack. Chrissy, there you go. Get up, mate. We'll do it tomorrow morning. Better do it first thing. We have got a box opening for the morning. We didn't get it done this RV. Yeah. The kids and I so did a bit much of a going on. Wow, look at that. Now you can see where the sequins are. It was hard for everyone to see where things are. Because um, this grange is so white. It's white and white. Love this, says Liz. Love your pretty sequins, says Marie. Thank you. No, I love sequins. <laughs> oh, sorry. Bright and sunny sequin mix. You've got a Redwood Farm sequin mix. Right? Yes, there's now a Redwood Farm sequin mix. Because of last Friday night's class. I, I might have been just a tad generous to the ladies. Yeah, that Friday night, that Friday night class kit. Holy dooly. <laughs> He's gone a little over the top with what he's put in the kits, so I can tell you that. You just might have enough sequins to do three pages. Or five. A discussion was had. There you go. Lee got her parcel early today. A oh, day early. Okay. Mm. I didn't post that very long ago. Let's try to post one of the games. One of the game was some. 
Oh my gosh, poor Beryl. Hers parcel spent six days in Brisbane, then Quentin got up them, gave them a razzle. So then they air freighted it to Melbourne. And then that very same day, they put it back on the next plane coming back to Brisbane. So in one day, it got air freighted from Brisbane to Melbourne and then back to Brisbane again. It's and then they delivered. turned around the next well, day. I'm hoping, Beryl, it's been delivered because it says it's been delivered in the system. Mm. Very patient is our Beryl. Do appreciate customer patience. We, we, we're doing our best. We are doing our best. Yeah. So we've currently got a retreat on this weekend. And Monday, we've got to get the next one going. Because I've kind of made a bit of a clerical error. Kind of overbooked myself. And and in amongst that, I've got a week off. So not next week, but the week after. I actually have the week off. You, because looking a, a I'm looking after a sick child. I'm looking after a child who has an eye operation on the Monday. And then I will be at home with her for a week. At least a week, maybe more. Oh, come on, How's that? Journaling. Now, here's an interesting concept. I think we've got to do one. An interesting concept with journaling, right? So I would say. Arrived yesterday. Thanks, Beryl. Oh, thank goodness, Beryl. Um, I would say with journaling, I like to, you know come along and find my X marks the spot and do a line out, a light pencil line, write my journaling on it and then rub out my pencil line once my pen's completely dry. Do you know what we're going to do? We've got a couple of these blings left. So let's do, let's find our X marks the spot and come out here. Now what did we do? We did half inch intervals. For our bling. One, two, three, four, five. Mm. Excellent. There's another lady on tonight, I'm pretty sure she was with her partner. We've had a bit of a holiday on to her WA too. No, let's do it down here. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do the journaling. So a very light pencil line. And then you just write. Um, so I'm going to do. It's just there. No, Jean was very excited tonight. She, I mean, very proud she was because Dale has been four years today at his current job. That's good. He's a good boy, but yeah, yeah. he is such a good boy. He does. Um, they go for mother son lunch on Saturdays. Yeah. Well. He's boss come up to him today and told him that in four years Dale hadn't had a sick day and he only had the public holidays off and that today was his fourth anniversary and he needed to go home and celebrate with his family for dinner and gave him a hundred dollar voucher. Wow, he is a good boy. Yeah. Good work ethic, but his dad's got a good work ethic. Yeah, you know, Lisa, no one looking after the lot of people four years without a day off and they gave him a hundred dollar voucher to take to go and have dinner. Yeah. Good kid, but mm. very good kid. Sarah wants to do an arts degree, but they're not sure. Visual arts. She just said arts degree. Okay. I'm just going to move this down just a fraction. This photo, just to cover the fact that my bead is in the wrong spot. My 
I don't have a bling. Tip just there. Are you hot or is it just It is hot here. Someone just going to say, everyone, it is really tropical here. Do you want me to put the air on? Mm, we're nearly done. We're nearly done. Right? Oh. Oh, my gosh. Naomi John put instructions over on YouTube. YouTube. Gee, she's good. You don't do that, Quentin. No, I've put them up on stream yet. Um, so you would write, um, your journaling on here. So I would write it in pencil first. Um, I'm mm. sure you'll get it finished, Sandra. Then is very important. And you write it with the line, um, our beautiful, through the center of the word, beautiful. Oh. I'm really tired. Sort of like that. Mm. Our beautiful little princess. But then I'd come along and write over it in pen once I've got it right. And I'm writing really softly. I don't know if you could see that. Can you? Let me hold it on an angle. Is that better? Ooh. Yeah. On an angle. It's so bright that paper. <laughs> Grange is so bright. Is it like Naomi John right? hasn't been watching the videos or listening. She didn't know that we'd done a lot of research about lighting and that, and she was going to fix our lighting issues for me after class. Oh, really? And, yep. Um, I'd love her to fix her lighting. She, un she insulted me because she kind of was as if I'd done nothing about it. <laughs> I didn't mean to get insulted. I'm very sorry, everyone, that that happened. So there we go. You could put the middles in your letters. Oh, God, there's some sequins. But you don't have to. You could put more rows of sequins. You could uh, put more paper. But I do like that these distances are all different and that some of them are wider and some of them are narrow. But you can see how having, you know the and it looks like this is twisted so this is a straight line with these bling here uh, but it does look twisted to me here but you can see how you can have ones but these three ones there's three ones you can have like the beads three lots the three lots of sequins works well two of the bling but then the bling and the pink work together and then there's a little bit of pink there and then we've got two royal blue, blue ribbons but we've got some royal blue in our sequins and you can see how our colors so the teal is here and here and then you've got a tiny bit of your pink in this flower so they're all disparate papers the disparate embellishments but they do actually work together because we picked up little bits of color from here and there and having the print behind the title being the same as the photo mats but a darker sort of brighter color but not bright bright in your face but just a simple tone on tone means that it doesn't steal attention from your photos but it doesn't make the page like if we had used the pretty flowers or the pink cheetah in here this would have just look, made it look like it was just too wild and too, you know, it would have just would have just been far, far, far too much. But yeah, so hopefully you, you get something out of this. Wasn't sure where it was going, but it had faith. Faith of that. Wasn't sure where it was going. <laughs> it is. Yes, yeah, sequins as letter senders would look really good. But this is a really great use of scraps, of all those little embellies. You know how we have the little containers, like. You know, I've got, like, leftover, you know, enamel dots or you've got, you know, disparate bling or you've only got, you know, you've only got two navy and one blue and one white enamel dot from a project. Or all these little, you know, bits and bobs, like little charms and buttons and things. Well, all of those can be used on something like this. All of those pieces can be used. And 
we didn't need to make the full lines we just needed just enough and I could stitch these buttons but I like them as they are does that make sense better put my needle somewhere special yeah, in, not somewhere else, we can have them off. in a roll of foam tape <laughs> but there we go so this week so tomorrow night at seven o'clock so if you're doing the hybrid retreat um, we have got a Zoom at 5.30 tomorrow. At least that's 5.30. At 5.30 tomorrow. Um, we, if you're having trouble with the Zoom, please let us know. We know some of you are having trouble and we're trying to get people into the Zoom and get it to work. Make sure before you attempt the Zoom that you've updated the app to the latest version, whether it's on your laptop, your iPad or your iPhone or your Android. Um and what else so if you're using a chromebook you have to use the um, zoom website um, because you can't download it onto a chromebook um what's the other thing and at seven o'clock tomorrow night naomi john's going to do a mixed media class here in the creative family group um using my stuff yeah, she's gonna yeah. Have I, she didn't bring any stuff with her 5.30 tomorrow? 5.30 tomorrow, Zoom. 5.30 tomorrow, Zoom, for the hybrid virtual retreat. That's for everybody, not just the virtual retreaters. Oh, I forgot the cord. Oh, see, I could have... No. Um, I don't think it needs anything else. And then Friday night and Saturday night, we are using Cottage Garden... And we're doing scrapbook pages. So that's Friday night and Saturday night at 7.30 p.m. So not 7 o'clock, 7.30 p.m. And they will be, so each of those Friday and Saturday night will be on the Scrapbook Fantasies Facebook page on the Elisa Redshaw Scrapbook Fantasies YouTube channel and in the hybrid retreat. So there's three places to find it on the Friday night and the Saturday night. Um, and then, yeah, we have a whole, the itineraries in the hybrid retreat group and there's a whole itinerary of classes. So we've got two Saturday, uh, two Friday plus Friday night, two Saturday plus Saturday night, and then two on Sunday. Yep. And Friday at nine o'clock in the morning, we do our unboxing. So we're still doing everything we do in a virtual retreat, but I've just got a store full of people at the same time and... So I will teach the class online and then I will go out and teach it in the store. So I will be a little bit tired, but I'll be good. She'll all be good. So, yes. And it's always stored there for you to come to later. And we do, do download them. So if we lose our class platform, we have all of our intellectual property and we have all of our classes so that we can actually load them in another location for you. So don't stress. Um, and I think that's about it. So thank you for coming along. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. It's a bit freestyle. It's a bit different. Um, so you can see that it's, yeah, it's just a little different. I don't know if it's freestyle. Yeah, it is kind of. Um, and what are we going to do? I think we're going to go and, um, read the textbook I'm reading. I'm reading a textbook on marketing. Um, I'm not learning how to do marketing. I'm just learning the history and the theory of marketing. It's interesting. I like learning stuff. So yeah, that's about it. So thank you all for coming along. Um, uh, oh, thank you, Diane. Thank you, Deborah. Work, but have fun chatting. Yes, awesome. Um, so take care, stay safe, and we'll see you tomorrow night for Naomi John's Mixed Media class. And I just waffle on. I'm sorry. Um, so take care. See us later. Thank you for coming along. Bye.